Top Superfoods, Part 7 Few Easy to Implement Changes to Your Diet Pomegranates Pumpkin Superfoods can be the basis of a sound, healthy and nutritious solution to curing many of these ailments plus many more. Superfood, is a term now generally used to describe foods high in phytonutrient content that many people believe grants us many health benefits. For example, blueberries are often considered a superfood, or superfruit, because they contain significant amounts of antioxidants, anthocyanins, vitamin C, manganese, and dietary fiber. However, the term is not in general or common use amongst dietitians and nutritional scientists, many of whom still dispute the claims made that consuming particular foodstuffs can have a health benefit, even though more and more research is being conducted which demonstrates that there is indeed positive effects. As more and more research is carried out into foods and the nutrients they contain, we are seeing that many of the foods we have been eating for generations, and some that are newer to us, are packed full of vitamins and minerals, and many other nutrients with promising health benefits. Let's discuss top superfoods in detail. Pomegranates. Pomegranates have been around since ancient times and their health benefits have been recognized. Pomegranates can range from yellow-orange to red to deep purple. Rich in potassium, vitamin C, polyphenols, and vitamin B6, pomegranates are real phytochemical powerhouses. Pomegranate juice may have two to three times the antioxidant power of equal amounts of green tea or red wine. In one study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, pomegranate juice was a potent fighter in the battle against atherosclerosis. As little as a one-quarter cup of pomegranate juice daily may improve cardiovascular health by reducing oxidation of LDL cholesterol. In addition, animal studies suggest that pomegranates may cause regression of atherosclerotic lesions. It's unfortunate that many of us avoid pomegranates because it takes some work to get to the seeds. Pomegranates possess potent anti-inflammatory phytochemicals, and consumption of pomegranate juice has been shown to lower blood pressure in hypertensive volunteers. Studies of several fruit juices and wines have reported the highest polyphenols concentration in pomegranate juice followed by red wine and cranberry juice. If you've never tried a pomegranate, autumn is a perfect time. Select a pomegranate by weight. The seeds represent about half the weight of the fruit and so the heavier the fruit the better. The skin should be shiny without any cracks. You can store your pomegranate in a cool place for about a month but it will keep in the fridge for up to two months. Pumpkin. Many of us rarely think of pumpkin as a food. We buy a pumpkin to carve at Halloween, then toss it in the trash once the trick or treaters go home. We only eat it once a year, if at all, in a Thanksgiving pie. Most people think of pumpkin as a decorative gourd rather than highly nutritious and desirable food. This is unfortunate because the squash known as a pumpkin is one of the most nutritionally valuable foods known to humanity. By the way, the pumpkin is not a vegetable, it's a fruit. Like melons, it's a member of the gourd family. Moreover, it's inexpensive, available year-round in canned form, incredibly easy to incorporate into recipes, high in fiber, and low in calories. All in all, pumpkin is a real nutrition superstar. The nutrients in pumpkin are really amazing. Extremely high in fiber and low in calories, pumpkin packs an abundance of disease-fighting nutrients, including potassium, pantothenic acid, magnesium, and vitamins C and E. The key nutrient that boosts pumpkin to the top of the superfoods list is the synergistic combination of carotenoids. Pumpkin contains one of the richest supplies of bioavailable carotenoids known to man. Indeed, a half cup serving of pumpkin gives you more than two times the recommended daily dietary intake of alpha carotene. When you realize the tremendous benefits of these nutrients, 
you'll see why pumpkin is such an extraordinary food. Carotenoids are deep orange, yellow, or red-colored, fat-soluble compounds that occur in a variety of plants. They protect the plants from sun damage while helping them attract birds and insects for pollination. So far, scientists have identified about 600 carotenoids, and more than 50 of them commonly occur in our diet. Not all dietary carotenoids are efficiently absorbed, however, and as a result, only 34 carotenoids have currently been found in our blood and breast milk. Foods rich in carotenoids have been linked to a host of health-promoting and disease-fighting functions. They've been shown to decrease the risk of various cancers, including those of the lung, colon, bladder, cervix, breast, and skin. In the landmark Nurses Health Study, women with the highest concentrations of carotenes in their diets had the lowest risk of breast cancer. Carotenoids have also shown great promise in their ability to lower rates of heart disease. In one 13-year-long study, researchers found a strong correlation between lower carotenoid concentrations in the blood and a higher rate of heart disease. As has frequently been found, the correlation between increased carotenoid consumption and decreased risk of heart disease was higher when all carotenoids, not just beta-carotene, were considered. Carotenoid consumption also decreases the risk of cataracts and macular degeneration. The two carotenoids that are present in pumpkin, beta and alpha-carotene, are particularly potent phytonutrients. Beta-carotene, which first came to our attention in the 1980s, is one of the world's most studied antioxidants. The word, carotenoid, derived from, carrot, comes from the yellow-orange color of these nutrients, which at first were linked primarily with carrots. Carrots, and sweet potatoes, also contain rich amounts of beta-carotene. It's abundant in fruits and vegetables, and we've long known that the beta-carotene in foods helps prevent many diseases, including lung cancer. It was the connection between beta-carotene and lung cancer prevention that led to some fascinating studies. These groundbreaking studies on beta-carotene were among the first indicators that supplements weren't the complete answer to preventing disease and, indeed, it's this finding that's at the heart of superfoods. Whole foods are part of the answer to disease prevention and health promotion. Scientists reasoned that if the beta-carotene in foods helped to prevent lung cancer, it followed that a beta-carotene supplement would do the same. Unfortunately, and shockingly, two important studies showed that, to the contrary, smokers who took beta-carotene supplements showed an increase in lung cancer. In 1996, a Finnish study on 29,000 male smokers, published in the New England Journal of Medicine, showed that those who smoked and took beta-carotene supplements were 18% more likely to develop lung cancer than those who had not taken supplements. In the United States, the Carotene and Retinol Efficacy Trial Carrot, study, which was published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute, was halted almost two years before expected completion because of the negative effects of the supplemental beta-carotene and vitamin A on smokers when compared with subjects taking a placebo. When derived from whole foods like pumpkin, the carotenoids are major players in the fight against the disease. Higher blood levels of beta-carotene and alpha-carotene are associated with lower levels of certain chronic diseases. In laboratory studies, beta-carotene has been shown to have very powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. It prevents the oxidation of cholesterol in laboratory studies and since oxidized cholesterol is the type that builds up in blood vessel walls and contributes to the risk of heart attack and stroke, getting extra beta-carotene in the diet may help to prevent the progression of atherosclerosis and heart disease. Beta-carotene along with other carotenoids may also prove to be helpful in preventing the free radical-caused complications of long-term diabetes and the increased risk for cardiovascular disease associated with this common illness.
Studies have also shown that a good intake of beta-carotene can help to reduce the risk of colon cancer, possibly by protecting colon cells from the damaging effects of cancer-causing chemicals. While beta-carotene has long been linked with health promotion, it's the bounty of alpha-carotene in pumpkin that makes it a real nutritional hero. The exciting news about alpha-carotene is that its presence in the body along with other key nutrients is reportedly inversely related to biological aging. In other words, the more alpha-carotene you eat, the slower your body shows signs of aging. Not only might alpha-carotene slow down the aging process, but it also has been shown to protect against various cancers and cataracts. Moreover, the combination of carotenoids, potassium, magnesium, and folate found in pumpkin offers protection against cardiovascular disease. Pumpkin is also a terrific source of fiber. Most people aren't aware of the fiber content of canned pumpkin because it seems so creamy. Just one full cup serving provides 5 grams of fiber, more than you're getting from most supermarket cereals. Well, there's no guarantee that by eating more superfoods you'll never have a heart attack, but by adding these foods to your diet, you are less likely to have one. Of course, your health isn't solely based on what you eat, but it is a large part of it. Today, we all have busy schedules and hectic lives, and very few of us eat properly. By consciously choosing to add more of these health-promoting foods to your diet, you'll be improving your health now and as you age. By making a few simple changes to what we eat, we can maintain or regain our health and possibly avoid a serious illness or illnesses in the future. It's not too difficult to add some fruits and vegetables to our diet. Keep them in the fridge and grab one or two in the morning on your way to work, as a snack between meals, and, of course, with your meals. By making just a few easy-to-implement changes to your diet can have a hugely positive effect on your health. Why not start now, to your good health? We will bring more informative videos on superfoods, watch part 8 of this series. Like this video, give thumbs up, share with your colleagues, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.